amjambo wote mimi naitwa Evani Kabila Kabanzi mimi ni mwimbaji na mutunzi na kiongozi wa bendi ya Mangelepa sasa tuko kwenye tua hii tua tumekuwa tukisubiri sana miaka mingi sana lakini finally eh, no nation walijaribu wali to promise kwamba watafanya tua pamoja na sisi na tumeshukuru Mungu finally tuko katika England London sasa hivi Mangelepa ni shindano ya moto Mangelepa ni dawa <laughs> Eh, ukiwa mgonjwa mangelepe na kuponya miziki ya mangelepa ni dawa wewe eh, ule jamali kudanganya kwamba yeye hakuwa mangelepa wala hujawahi kumuuliza anaitwa mukala kanyinda koko karibu mukala kanyinda koko karibu 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 wewe ni mwanzilishi wa mangelepa moja wetu fikiri nilimtaja jina hapa yao ndio siku ya leo watasikia muziki kamili muziki kamili kutoka Afrika muziki tofauti lakini ni dawa kwao kwa hivyo manyumbani walipo wale ambao wanasikia mangelepa toka zamani eh, na ni wagonjwa sasa hivi wakuja hapa leo watapata dawa an amazing thing that happened in east africa a lot of congolese from the eastern part of congo moved to east africa to tanzania to kenya to uganda even through to Zambia and various other places. And they brought the Congolese music with them, but they also built it into something that was identifiably East African and was really special. And this band were one of those bands in the 1970s that uh, made that huge transition and made a sort of music, an archetype of music that's fantastic, that actually not many people here in the UK know about. And this is, they've been together for 44 years, and this is their first ever show in London, their London debut. Please welcome Le Mangalepa. been together for 42 years yes yeah, it's magic i probably get half a dozen emails from people from colombia for example saying can i buy mangalepa records off you so their fame has spread around the world you know my story um with mangalepa is i produced co-produced a festival in the rift valley in in naivasha uh, called the Rift Valley Festival, and that's where I met I met Guy. I actually met Guy for the first time in I think it was in Nairobi, right? So um, while I was producing the Rift Valley Festival, and then Guy um, obviously introduced me 
to Mangalepa through the recording that Guy had produced with Ketabul. And um, so from when I met Guy, then I met Ebony, I think 2012, I think it was. <laughs> watching Africans in London TV. Wah! <laughs>